is Corvette designer Larry Shinoda. Uh, Larry played a significant part in the uh, 60s era of the Corvette, uh, having a great deal of influence on the uh, 63 uh, split window coupe that we've heard so much about <clears throat> already. And believe me, uh, you can't see out the rear window. When Larry was 10 years old, his mother was summoned to his fifth grade parent-teacher conference. The teacher complained of Larry's inattention and used as proof test papers with drawings of hot rods all over them. How is Larry ever going to make a living doing this kind of thing? Larry was a, a, was a California kid and a graduate of Art Center and he showed a tremendous amount of enthusiasm in, in uh, hot rods and racing and so he brought that along with him and pretty outspoken guy and he didn't mince his words and Bill liked that. Bill liked the feisty guy. They really got along well together, together and they had a special studio over in the warehouse which was kind of off limits where Bill did a lot of his uh, uh, you know under the counter stuff so to say and uh, but Bill and Larry worked on a lot of Corvettes together. In September of 1956 Larry Shinoda went to work for General Motors. He began working on a car called the SS. In 1959, the SS became the Stingray. The Stingray became the foundation for the 63 Corvette. Without question, Larry Shinoda is best known for his link with the 1963 Corvette Stingray. You know, working with Gary Mitchell, he transformed Mitchell's vision into the Q Corvette, eventually the 1959 Stingray Racer, and eventually the beautiful split window 1963 2. The Stingray is without question one of the most remarkable automotive designs ever produced, and it really stands alone as a true icon of the Corvette. Well, my first uh, recollection of Larry was at uh, Green Acres Mall across the street from the uh, styling uh, studios. Uh, he was racing a go-kart, and this had to be in 1957 or something like that, and with uh, another group of go-kart enthusiasts. And, of course, his equipment was uh, the shiniest, chrome painted, really first class. He always was very enthused about Corvettes, always enjoyed talking with Larry, working with Larry. I worked uh, on the Mako Shark and the early Stingrays when we needed, uh, or they needed, uh, drivetrain components for the styling vehicles that, it, that he was building. Larry was a uh, very prolific designer uh, here, and he was an enthusiast. Even in poor health, Larry remained active with the Corvette until his death. He designed the Shinoda kit for the C4 and was working on producing a limited run of Shinoda-designed C5s. One of his last projects was the graphic design for the Mid-America Traveling Corvette exhibit. Larry Shinoda spark his attitude really helped define for us what we're going to do with that.